I didn't know that I was going to be the opening speaker at the march in Washington, D.C. I don't think anybody knew what we were walking into other than the feeling that it was necessary and we had to be there. I see this as a moment of taking feminism back, making feminism a project that all of us can share. Black Lives Win! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Win! When I put the hashtag in front of Black Lives Matter, I was like, we're gonna make this thing go viral. I still remember the exact moment when we hit the publish button. We kind of watched with wonder as the story started to take off like wildfire. Everybody's like, oh good, look, now we have a movement. And I'm like, nah, Me Too is a tiny part of a large movement that's been happening for decades. I got a call saying, a bunch of us are gonna gather. Do you wanna come over and join us? I said yes, because I was mad. This was before we even had the name Time's Up. Someone may have slammed their hand on the table and said, Time's Up on all of this behavior. And then it was like, oh, that's our name. There's a renaissance that's happening inside of Hollywood. I remember calling my attorney and saying like, if I say this, are we sure that it's true? On behalf of women everywhere, I will brag. I am the highest paid showrunner in television. The United States Congress certainly was not built for young women, but it's really young women of color who have pushed forward for so many changes, and that has just turned the power dynamics here on Capitol Hill on its head. The world and this country is changing. It's been changed, and I think that we have an opportunity this time to do it right. Say her name! Say her name! There are some people who think that we are post-civil rights, we are post-feminism, and therefore we're post-intersectional. I can't see how we're post-anything, and I can't see how we can possibly think we're done. 